Dan Willis here, and we're talking about how to fix credit and specifically the accuracy of your credit reports. Now, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, actually did a study investigating the accuracy of consumer credit reports. In 2013, they released the findings. But let me first ask you, what's an acceptable number of mistakes for the millions of Americans' credit reports? What's an acceptable number? 1%, 5%, 7%? 21% of Americans is what the FTC found have errors on their credit report. 21% more than one out of every five people have an error on their credit report. And of these folks, one in 10 have a serious error that is jacking up their credit score and their life. Now, if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll free 1-877 418-7596. And the reason we share the FTC study, many people have studied this. Nobody in their mother thinks that consumer credit scores are accurate. This is an accepted fact. There's millions of mistakes and millions. This was the idea behind the Fair Credit Reporting Act, that legislation that we shared here in an earlier video that allows you to dispute and challenge any item on your credit report. That was passed way back in 1970. So the idea that consumer credit reports have ever been accurate is pure blasphemy. There's three ways to file your credit dispute, and you can dispute the credit bureaus directly. However, amendments to the Fair Credit Reporting Act now enable you to dispute lenders, collection agencies, anybody that's a data furnisher reporting information about you on your credit report. You can file your dispute online, over the phone, or by old-fashioned snail mail, which we recommend. Once the credit bureaus and for the rest of this video, we're just going to talk about it like that because that's traditionally been the vast majority of them. But once the credit bureaus or the data furnisher get your dispute and find it valid, then they're required, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they're required to investigate that item by contacting the original lender, creditor, or data furnisher. If you've been keeping up with us here, in the last video we were talking about how to settle debt collections. Once you made that settlement payment, then you're going to dispute this item and we're going to stay with that here <laughs> but the idea is when they conduct an investigation and with that when they investigate that debt collection that you settled as part of your settlement agreement the collection agency isn't going to verify during the credit bureau investigation that that account exists if any item that is investigated by the credit bureaus is not verified then by law and according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act it must be removed from your credit report and here's a big key if it's verified today it still has to be verifiable 18 months from now as in it needs to stay verifiable there's all these laws are passed for you and you can use them to leverage and effectively remove these dings and these items from your credit report because the Fair Credit Reporting Act, while it states a maximum amount of time any item can remain on your credit report, seven years, there is no minimum amount of time that any item must remain on your credit report. Let us repeat, there is no minimum amount of time that any item must remain on your credit report. If you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. This is hands down the most effective and efficient way to get a better credit score. What we're doing here is we're focusing on your payment history, which as we shared in an earlier video, is worth 35% of your overall credit score. And by removing those dings and those damaging, bad, negative, derogatory items, those blemishes, we're removing the items that are dragging your credit score down. Now, <laughs> every year, millions, and I mean millions, of negative items are removed from consumer reports, consumer credit reports. However, a few years back, 60 Minutes did a report of just how challenging it is for the average consumer like you and me to remove an item from our credit report. They looked at all three of the credit bureaus with terrible results, to put it nicely. And in fact, Julie Miller, a woman in Oregon in 2013, she sued Equifax. We shared the story about her earlier. She sued Equifax. She followed every letter of the law. 
She sent 13 letters over the course of two years, over 13 letters, and she had stellar credit beforehand. She had gotten slapped with 38 collection accounts that weren't even hers. One of the most egregious errors, obvious errors, as we shared, Equifax didn't, didn't ever fix it, and they were fined, sued. Julie Miller was awarded over $18 million in her lawsuit against them because they didn't follow the law. Now, hopefully, your circumstances are not, and most folks' circumstances, are not anywhere near as severe as Miss Miller. <laughs> However, if you have trouble, please do not just let these guys run over your rights. Seriously, all these laws, every single thing in the world is passed for you and your protection and to help you. If you have any trouble or just don't feel like dealing with it yourself, we strongly encourage you to investigate legal, legitimate, reputable credit repair services. One of the best is the Credit Pros. They've helped their clients remove late payments, collections, charge-offs, judgments, liens, bankruptcies, repossessions, and more. For a free credit consultation, you can call toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Again, that's for a free credit consultation, and the toll-free phone number is 1-877-418. 418-7596. This is Dan Willis. We're going to include a link in the description below over to an article on our website for the full story. We also have a free report available there. The seven proven ways to boost your credit score. Please subscribe and join our congregation. Have a wonderful day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.